Afternoon everybody, in the workshop again, uh, self-isolating, we're not really self-isolating, only self-isolating in the way we're supposed to be self-isolating, in other words not really going out, and I'm going to be doing uh, an unboxing, now it's not actually an unpackaging because in these difficult times of course I've stripped off the outer packaging and immediately washed my hands so all I've got is the box didn't want to show you the bit about ripping off the packaging so I'm just going to show you the unboxing the other thing I wanted to say is uh, I'm, I'm dressed uh, a little bit slovenly uh, nice word that slovenly and if you notice on my other videos you might have seen I wore the same t-shirt and it actually struck me, uh, it struck me, struck me yesterday in fact, that I've been wearing the same t-shirt for a week. Now, how many other people who are self-isolating have rather gone to seed? In other words, you're not, you're not dressing up when you're working from home. I mean, I'm not working from home, but I'm, I'm, I'm retired. But how many people who are working from home are just sitting around in their pyjamas doing their work? I know these pictures you see of uh, politicians, Matt Hancock and Boris Johnson and Rishi Sunak and so forth, they're, they're all dressed very smartly working from home. But I'm wondering if that's the same thing for everybody else. I wonder if uh, everybody's dressed slovenly. Anyway, let's get back to the unboxing in these difficult times. Now, you may think... Um, He's buying quite a lot of this item. Why is he buying so many of these items? And that's a good question. I don't know. But not much you can do when you're self-isolating. But you can buy stuff. Expect to have unnecessary deliveries. They haven't said you shouldn't have unnecessary deliveries. You should, probably shouldn't have non-essential deliveries. But items for the bike probably are essential because you can't use the bike. I'm not using the bike. I know a lot of people that I know are cycling outside. I'm not cycling outside um, because I don't think it's fair to put an additional strain on the NHS. And I'm the sort of person who tends to have, uh, fall off my bike. So I could have an accident. So I'm being a little bit careful. So anyway, bought a few couple of bits and pieces. And one of the things I bought is another saddle. So here we are. I'm opening a box. Very interesting. It's a nicely shaped box. You see, would you call that? Um, a, a triangle with a tra trapezium. I don't know if you can read what's on the box. It says Sulor, Sulor. Then it says Cycles Bertou. Cycles Bertou uh, manufacture. Cycles Bertou manufacture. Down the bottom it says www.gilbertou.fr, which suggests it's something French. And yes, it is something French. And very interesting box there. I don't know if you can see. And there's a piece of paper here, Gilles Bertou, and there's a picture there of the, pardon me, oh, pardon me, somebody probably Gilles Bertou, but not, uh, not certain, so I'll just put that piece of paper once more. Take it out of the box, and that's all there is in the box, actually. It's a, it's a saddle. Now, that is a Gilles Bertou Soulor saddle, and it's leather, as you can see, quite similar to a Brooks uh, saddle uh, with some rather attractive steel steel rails there and there's a, a Allen key or hex key somebody pulled me up and said you shouldn't call it an Allen key because that's a, uh, a trademark so it's a hex key so a hex key goes in there and goes in there in the end I suppose so you can tighten it up can't you and there's um, what do you, I'm not sure what these inner inserts are they're probably some kind of plastic and the rivets they're not exactly rivets look you see they're attached again by hex keys on the end can you see that hold it up close uh, there i think you can see that unlike a brook saddle where the rivets are on top so you actually sit on the rivets you may not notice them but you do sit on the rivets and uh, there's there's one there at the front can you see that right in the front but you don't really sit there do you um unless you're right forward on the saddle anyway so not dissimilar to a Brooks B17 saddle and I've been trying these different saddles you may see an unboxing of the Brooks Cambium saddle there's a link to it up there um, and I bought another saddle as well I can't remember what it was oh yeah it was a specialized uh, power saddle one a kind of short stubby thing bit like, bit like that and I've ridden it a couple of times before I stopped going out on my bike. Didn't really find it all that comfortable. So um, rather going overboard on the saddles at the moment. I'm not quite quite sure why. Uh, I suppose I'm trying to find a comfortable saddle. So this is the the Gilberto Soulor. Col de Soulor, incidentally, is in the Pyrenees, and I climbed the Soulor 
when I did the Raid Pyrenean with Marmot Tours in 2017. There, piece of uh, piece of interest for you. It's rather attractive, isn't it? I think it's a bit like a Brooks uh, saddle in the sense that you you probably need to break it in before it gets comfortable. And this saddle, not a lot of give on that saddle, not a lot of give at all. I used to have a Brooks B17, quite, quite enjoy it. It's a very dark green colour, very attractive colour, I thought. Um, and it was on uh, uh, on my back of Robert's bike, incidentally, a steel touring bike, which I sold to subsequently you then took it to Vienna and had it stolen, interestingly enough. So if you are wandering around Vienna and you happen to see a Robert's touring bike with a Brooks saddle on it and a triple chain set, uh, that was my bike. Uh, although it's not my bike anymore and, and luckily it was stolen by the person who bought it from me. So I got my money and uh, all's well. So that's the Gilles Bertou Soulor saddle. It's rather attractive and it's rather smooth. Rather, rather, um, rather pleasant feel there. Whether it feels that way on your on your bum is another matter because you'll be wearing wearing shorts. I'm not going to be cycling naked, although perhaps people would like to see that kind of video, but I don't make that kind of video. So if you're expecting that, you're going to be disappointed. You can find those videos, so I'm told, on YouTube. Never looked myself, but you can find them. Anyway, rambling on a bit. Um, going back into self I said weather's changed a bit. It's going to be a little bit chilly. So I'll be going on the uh, Watt bike a bit later on, do a session. I'll either do a full gas session or do a Zwift session. I'm, I'm alternating them. One day I do full gas, one day I do Zwift. And I, yesterday I did a Zwift session, so today I might do a full gas session. Anyway, I thought you'd uh, find that interesting. So that's the um, Gilles Bertou Soulor leather saddle. Looking forward to trying it out when I get back on my bike. Don't know what and don't know when that will be. If you're suffering from coronavirus, I do hope you get well soon, and I do hope you don't get it, and hope you and your family are doing all right, and we'll get back to normal life, whatever normal life looks like, um, at some stage, but who knows when that will be. So, take care, and see you next time. That's a reboxing, by the way. Don't normally do reboxings, but uh, that was a reboxing.